and pledging defiance. Bitter divisions between movements known as the Red and Yellow Shirts have again resurfaced. The opposition, many of them wearing yellow, are thrilled that Prime Minister in Lakshinawat has been ordered by the Constitutional Court to step down. They've been trying to oust her and her family from politics. Today the bad karma has borne fruit. Today the tyrannical group is no longer a government. The head is gone already. Things turned ugly during protests earlier this year. Violent clashes killed 25 people. The new elections have been called for late July. But the protesters demand reforms before any poll. And the Prime Minister and her supporters are not backing down that easily. In luck fighting, they chant, despite the court ruling that she acted illegally when she transferred her national security chief to another position in 2011. I insist that we have used honesty to administrate the country and we have never done anything that conveys any dishonest actions as accused. But who exactly are they? Well, the red shirts are largely rural voters who've supported former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat, a brother of Inluk Shinawat. He was ousted by the military in 2006, but his health care and education policies were particularly popular among the rural poor. The yellow shirts, meanwhile, tend to be urban and middle-class voters. They've accused Thaksin Shinawat of corruption and abuse of power, and they were behind the street protests 